Mr. Yu, do vehicle emissions cause pollution? Of course they do. Air pollutants in Hong Kong mainly come from the motor vehicles, vessels, and power plants. Other sources include mobile machinery at construction sites and container terminals, architectural paints, printing inks, air fresheners, and hairsprays also emit air pollutants. So there are many air pollutants in the air? Yes, there are. But don't worry. The government has policies in place to control emissions and protect our health. In January 2014, the Environmental Protection Department revised the air quality objectives and set out the concentration limits for seven types of air pollutants. The new objectives were formulated with reference to the air quality guidelines of the World Health Organization. The department has various control measures to improve Hong Kong's air quality. Let's invite a specialist to introduce measures targeting vehicles. To improve air quality, we have trained accredited spotters to look for and report smoky vehicles under the Smoky Vehicle Control Program. We have also deployed mobile remote sensing equipment at roadsides to monitor invisible emissions and strengthen the emission control over petrol and LPG vehicles. Vehicles exceeding the emission limit must pass an emission test within a prescribed period or their licenses will be cancelled. Poorly maintained vehicles can emit up to 10 times more pollutants. Proper repair and maintenance can therefore help reduce vehicle emissions. Meanwhile, we have implemented a control program to progressively phase out 82,000 pre-Euro 4 diesel commercial vehicles, including goods vehicles, light buses and non-franchised buses by the end of 2019. An ex gratia payment of 11.4 billion Hong Kong dollars has also been set aside to assist affected vehicle owners. Besides, we have set a service life limit of 15 years for newly registered vehicles to ensure their timely replacement. Do all vehicles emit pollutants? No. Electric vehicles emit zero low-side emissions, so the department is encouraging the use of electric vehicles by offering tax incentives and expanding charging facilities. Let's ask the specialist to explain it further. Emission-free electric vehicles can significantly improve roadside air quality and reduce greenhouse gas emissions. For public transport, we have fully subsidized the franchise bus companies to purchase six double-decker hybrid buses and 36 single-decker electric buses for trial runs. If the trial runs are successful, the companies will be encouraged to use these green buses on a wider scale. The department also set up the 300 million Hong Kong dollars Pilot Green Transport Fund in 2011 to subsidize the public transport sector vehicle owners and charitable and non-profit making organizations to try out environmentally friendly and low carbon innovative transportation technologies, attracting overseas suppliers to promote their green products in Hong Kong. With the implementation of these policies, there are about 4,200 electric vehicles running in Hong Kong at the end of 2015, showing a significant increase from less than 100 vehicles in 2010. As the government phases out pre-Euro 4 diesel commercial vehicles, tightens the control over emissions from LPG and petrol vehicles, and promotes the use of electric vehicles, the air quality will improve significantly. How about vessels and power plants? We'll discuss it next time.